Maybe you know this place. Home sweet home. So I figure if it's gonna be a place where you can do a really cool little lesson in MIDI, over there would be it. I'll see that. So let's talk plug go. Let's talk some art as well. Check these guys. It's one of my favorite spots in all the world. This little statue right here, one of the most famous of the Medusa, was cast in bronze all in one go. And the guy ended up smashing all the furniture in his house because the liquid was cooling too fast and wasn't getting there all the way. Really something special. Let's get on with this lesson. Talking about pimping your pod go for MIDI over USB. Let's do this thing. So, can you use MIDI with the pod go? The answer, a simple one, is yes. You can. Um, MIDI over USB has certain little problems though. One, it needs a host device. And what the host does is it arranges the transport of MIDI data back and forth across things. This is the same with Bluetooth. This is the same with regular wired USB. So take note. The cable that's going to the pod go is a regular type B MIDI cable. So like a printer cable, pretty cool, but you can't stick two of them together. They have to go between a computer and the computer is always the host. And by computer, I mean some device that has this little bit of software in it that will do that. So one thing that will do it, I'm holding here in my hand, is an iPhone. No problem. In fact, any iOS device will do this for you and you can do this today. You need MIDI Mite or, or even better, you need something like Audio Bus 3 and that can pass signal from one side to another. And it does it in a nice graphic way and it's real easy to do. You are talking about adding an iOS device though. If you don't have one, don't worry. There are other ways of doing this. Uh, some of them get more complicated. Raspberry Pi will do that. Some of them, which don't exist yet, but are coming in the near future, like the CME U-Host, the Witty U-Host. That is a tiny little block, just like the Witty Master that you have right now, but it's USB power. So you could stick that in the battery chuck that and run it into the pod with that you could go wireless even to an mc6 if you wanted you could totally bypass the ios but let's get back to the ios so you're going to pimp this thing out pimp it out so say you have an ios device kicking around you know you've got your old wife's phone in the drawer or something like that you can take that you can use an ipad which would be way better you link these two with this software and in this case the best way to do that would be to go and get a camera connector kit tiny little dongle plug that into said ipad or iphone plug a usb cable into that and into the pod go and boom you're up and running with that you can do serious stuff you can record what you're playing you can play backing tracks into the pod for what you're playing and you can use apps like OnSong or other stuff, um, Band Helper, as you like, to navigate your playlists. The PodGo, much like the Stomp, can do all of these things. So the computer, the iPhone, iPad, whatever, can go through. You can make playlists on it on the fly, store all your information in there, and it will know what's what. So you know, you can set up a playlist for an event or you can just simply navigate your way around. All of that's possible. It is doable. It does bear the question. Do you really want to do that? Do you not want to keep your pod go as simple as possible? I would suggest thinking about that. I would also probably push you towards doing it anyway, because, you know, why not? It's, it's really cool, but 
Think about what you want to do. Um, think about it for the future. If you are getting this stuff, I think on song is, I don't, I don't know, 30, 50 bucks or it's a super service. You have to get into that and go and check other videos that I've done on that. I'll probably put some links in here for you. And you can see why you'd want to do it. I would. If you just want to go straight direct, that can be done as well, but you're going to have to program all that stuff. I would really recommend, your question was for an MC6, I would recommend the MC6. The MC3 may also do this, much more tiny. You're going to need at least two buttons to navigate if you went through Onsung. If you were going the other way, you might want more stuff. So it is to be seen. It's a bit of a challenge, um, one that I would happily take on. It's a shame. I don't have an iPad at home, but if I do this on the HX Stomp, just using USB, it should be pretty well much exactly the same thing, I would think. We'll have to see about that. I would definitely not mind having a, a pod go myself. Um, but consider this. If you really want to pull magic stuff out of these things, yeah, you can do it, but why not just get an HX stomp and stay in the Helix family and be able to transfer stuff? Think about it. Um, with three coming out, that would be my recommendation. But if not, if Pod Go is the way you want to be. We can do that. We can absolutely, absolutely make the ninja moves and do it. So stay tuned. I will be back to the lab at some point, crack on with some other vids of this stuff, and we should be able to hook it up, man. For Isaac? Yay. Go for that. I will show you the more complicated, complicated, I will show you the, the old singing and dancing way to do it, which is very cool. You could also think, future-proofing your thing. If at some point you ever want to change your pod, go for a bigger helix, all this stuff works the same, exactly the same. You should think of it as a brain and you should think of what we're building here as a sort of, what do you call it? You know, when you had your computer laptop and you plug it into a desk, a cradle, a, I don't know, there's some word for it, a docking station. There you go. Think of this as a docking station. So you can add this, you can take it off, doesn't change anything, but the tricks and the stuff that I will give you will certainly groovily pimp up your, your pod go. You know, or yeah, go check out chat and get some skins and stuff because it could be cool. Hope this helps. I'll check you later.